what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? With the majority of the populace confined to their homes, Tiger King has become the latest streaming sensation on Netflix. Sports fans who have binge-watched the popular show about big cats in the U.S. caught a glimpse of former NBA champion and Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal strolling through the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park owned by Joseph Maldonado Passage, a.k.a. Joe Exotic and the main figure of the series. Shout out to Exotic Joe, Shaq said during the opening episode of the documentary. I got two more tigers. Well, Shaq recently took to his podcast, the big podcast with Shaq, to make a couple of clarifications. One, he does not own any tigers. Two, he's not buddies with Joe Exotic. You see, Joe, in January, was sentenced to 22 years in prison for a murder for hire plot. And selling tiger cubs illegally. Shaq said, I don't harm tigers. I love white tigers. Do I put donations to these zoos to help these tigers out? I do all the time. Do I own tigers personally at my house? Nope, but I love tigers. Listen, people are going to make their own opinions, but again, I was just a visitor. I met this guy, not my friend. Don't know him. Never had any business dealings with him, and I didn't know any of this stuff was going on. I believe him. Here's why. How many times have you visited a zoo and had never met the owner or the person in charge, the director? Happens all the time. How many times have you visited a restaurant and didn't know the owner of the restaurant? Never met the owner. Happens all the time. How many times have you visited, I don't know, a repair shop didn't know the owner? So this happens all the time. The fact that Shaq is a celebrity should not be held against him. Also, I'm sure if he knew who this dude really was, he wouldn't want anything to do with him anyway. The dude is on a video that was recently produced by TMZ. Produced meaning published by TMZ. That shows him going on a rant about why he can't say the N word. This is a video that he shot back in 2015. And he was really, really upset that he couldn't use the N word. Which means that you know, he uses it all the time. He was just upset he couldn't say it publicly, you know, uh, in polite company. He couldn't say it on his show because he was hosting the show, The Tiger King or whatever he was calling it, on YouTube back in the day. So he called it, I think, the Tiger King TV or something like that. But yeah, he had a show back in the day on the internet and yeah, he wanted to really say the N word, but he's not the only one. It's many of them out there. They really are offended that people get offended if they say it. His justification, well, you know, you got these rappers on YouTube who say it all the time. Why can't I say it? I don't have a problem with Shaq distancing himself from someone he's already been distanced from. It's important that he made that clarification because you know how people are, oh, Shaq hanging out with a killer. Did he plot the killing with him? I got a clarification of my own. Joe Exotic, if you want to use the N-word so badly, don't say it behind a camera. Say it to our faces. Coward. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.